Hello again. Whoops, a daisy. Try not to knock the monitor off the desk. Uh, where was I? Oh yes. Hello again. I am <laughs> off to a smooth start already. I am Blunty. This is part. Well, actually, I was going to say part three. It's part three of the actual build, but part like seven or eight of the entire series uh, through the process of this uh, gaming PC build. Uh, Devil's Crevice, codename Devil's Crevice, Project Devil's Crevice, however I want to identify it well. If you haven't seen the other parts and you've just arrived at this part, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. You probably should watch the other parts to get up to speed on what's going on. But if you just want to see the computer turn on, then you come to the right video. So that's what we're doing here. This is the very first time I've ever booted this system as a complete build. We did the benchtop test without any drives or anything, just the, the absolute rawest essentials just to get the thing to turn on, make sure the memory worked, make sure the fans span up. And uh, so this time we're going to see the case fans spin. We're going to see, uh, whoops, what's that USB cable? That doesn't belong there. It should be plugged into the back. What's going on here? I, I haven't prepared very well. Why, why, why did I unplug that? Did I do that accidentally? I don't know what's going on. Thank you. Meanwhile, sorry, got distracted. It's been a long day. It's about, about four hours worth of doing this. Usually, it would take mm, an hour or so to build a computer, but I've been doing the filming and the talking and breaks in between and, and transferring footage from memory cards as they fill up on the camera and everything and, and, and the time lapse and the, you know, basically it's a longer process for me doing it this way than it is normally. So don't judge me on, it shouldn't take you four hours to build a fucking PC. Well, no, it shouldn't. And it wouldn't have, but I'm doing this for you guys. So first boot of the system in its basic form. There are still upgrades I, I have to do. I need an SSD for a start. I need uh, 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 to get an aftermarket cooler. I want to get one of those. Um, I need a dedicated graphics card, obviously. If it's a gaming rig, it needs a dedicated graphics card. But the system is ready to be booted up and running. And I should stop waffling. I'm kind of teasing at this point. I have just gone for a little walk down the street to get myself a beer to celebrate if this thing actually boots first time. Fingers crossed, because I really want that beer. I'm, I'm ever so thirsty for a beer, so... Uh, actually, I don't need to reach around... Actually, I should reach around the front of the case to make sure the power button works instead of using the button that's on the board itself, so... Let me uh, just get around. Oh, dear. Oh, I didn't plan this well. Nope. You know what I've done? Would you like to know the problem, why this machine didn't turn on? Uh, it, it would be this, but that, that's, that'd be the mains cable. Power, all of the power, the entirety of the power. Uh, the computer probably needs that to start up. Derp. Well, that's solid proof I'm not lying to you when I said this is the first time I've, I've powered it up, because if I had powered it up before the camera started rolling, you know, cheated to make sure it worked, then that that wouldn't have that would have been plugged in. So let's try that again. All right. Nope, still nothing. Uh, of course, you you have to switch on the power supply. You sure I can't open the beer yet? I need it. All right, power supply is plugged in and switched on now. Third time lucky. That doesn't count, by the way. That, that stuff doesn't count as it not turning on. That was that was just power issue. That was the power not being connected. That doesn't that doesn't count. I'm still allowed to have the beer if this boots properly first time. If I can find the power switch. Oh, it's a reset. Where's the power? Where is the there it is. No, no, I can't find it. There it is. Ha 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 ha! Uh, is this turn on? Yes it is. Alright. Case fans all working, humming away, power supply. Spinning and humming away. CPU fans spin up, spin back down. Uh, have I plugged this monitor in? I have. So, oh, there it is. Now, this is a bit awkward for me to see, by the way, guys. The screen's got fingerprints on it from where I picked it up. And also, I can't quite see, but I've, I've got to angle it this way so you can see what's going on. Uh, and it did. Sh oh wait, I didn't do the, didn't do the BIOS thing. So actually, let's find that reset switch. Make sure I plug the reset switch in properly. I think I have. Okay. 
Do 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 entering setup. Okay. It's probably running through the drives right now. It does say entering setup down there if you can't see that on camera, but I think I've earned the right to open this beer. There we are. <laughs> oh. oh, that's so good. Ice cold. Asahi Super Dry. My favorite beer in the world. Mm. All right, so again, a little bit awkward for me to try and do this sideways, but we'll, we'll try and get there. All right, so it's reading the CPU temperature promptly, 40 degrees. That's about right for an idle on the stock cooler in the BIOS. Our motherboard is 29 degrees. That seems about right. Um, we do have my, my USB key here, which has got my Windows 7 install um, installation thingy boot drive, inst install boot drive thingy all set up on it. Uh, I haven't tested that. It should work though, I think. I did set it up uh, a few months ago. Okay, everything looks good there. I see profile done hardware monitor. Let's have a look at that. Do -do -do. Nice. we got fan control here. CPU fan control number two. System that. Do -do -do. We'll fiddle with all these, these, these fan rampings at some other stage. I don't need to fiddle with that now, but for right now, I just want to make sure it seems to be reading everything properly, and it does. Go to settings. System status. Okay, so I'll probably just edit it through that. That was just me mumbling through the uh, through the uh, BIOS settings here to make sure everything was present and correct and set up properly and the boot order was the way I wanted it set up so I could uh, actually boot to this key drive. And I think I might try this in the front USB ports to make sure they're actually connected properly because the ones on the back, they're directly connected to the motherboard, so obviously they they should be fine. Um, but I'll, I'll plug that in the front and boot from that, and we'll get Windows installed, and then I'll come back to you once we can boot to the actual Windows desktop. All right, we're back. It took a little bit longer than originally I thought it would. Um, I hit a couple of snags, basically. The first snag is uh, Windows didn't want to install on the Western Digital Scorpio 7200 RPM drive, uh, apparently it is on its way out. Uh, the the basically automatic hardware monitoring Windows was telling me that uh, well this, this I don't want to install on this drive. It may fail soon. Now I don't know whether that contributed to the problems I was having with the gaming laptop in the first place, but it is uh, about five years old and has been in in pretty constant use. So you know five years out of a mechanical hard drive is about you know, when you would expect some failures to start piling up. So that's fine. So Windows is currently installed, as you can see, the hideous, ugly default desktop in, in a resolution that is completely unsuitable for this particular monitor. <laughs> it, trust me, it looks hideous. Probably It probably looks all right through camera, but I don't know. It's hideous. Um, second problem I had is, as the install was, was going on, I was installing from USB, as I mentioned. Um, well, basically, Put it up Windows install, and I thought, well, these drives still have a bunch of junk in them, and old install from from the Windows gaming laptop that I, I the drives were recovered from. And I thought, well, I'll just drop into the command line, I'll boot up disk part, uh, and you know, do it old school because I wrote that's how I roll, command line days. So I booted up disk part, dropped into the command, well, dropped into the dropped into the command line, booted up disk part, uh, and cleaned the drives. And if you have ever used command line tools like disk part, you'll know that they're not uh, as friendly as the UI stuff. If you issue the clean command in disk part, it doesn't ask you, are you absolutely sure? This will destroy all of the data on your drive. Are you, are you sure? Please click yes. Are you absolutely sure? Please click this checkbox and then click yes and OK. And please type your name, you know, like the, the, the dummy mode. UI stuff tends to do. No, the, the, the you know, the command line stuff is hardcore. As soon as you issue the command, shit gets done. So, what I did was accidentally selected the USB key drive partition and cleaned it, which means it nuked it. Not just deleted the data, not just formatted, but deleted the entire partition. This is now a, a blank drive completely. There's not even a file system on there. Luckily, I did happen to have 
a second USB drive with a Windows 7 install uh, boot drive thingy all set up on it. And I made this... Um, Actually, I don't even remember why or when I made this. I think I made it at the same time as this one for some reason, because I was I was worried about uh, some. I don't even know why, but yeah, I just happened to have <laughs> another drive set up with with a proper boot partition and a Windows Seven Home Premium install sitting on it. Uh, the install program, rather, not an install. So <laughs> saved my bacon on that, because yeah, if I if it was my only USB drive with a Windows Eight install system on it. Uh, Windows 7 installs, so I would have been toast. That would have been it. I would have had to... Uh, uh, well, actually, I might have a CD around here somewhere with an in installer on it. Anyway. So that was two little hiccups there. First, the drive, uh, which you know, I'm going to have to get rid of. I'm going to pull that out. I'll put the panels on the case. You might be able to see. Um, and I am going to have to replace the, the fans. The case fans, they are quiet, but nowhere near quiet enough if it's going to be sitting near my head like it will be on the shelves back here is where I'm planning to keep it. Um, so it you know, makes a nice little background in the, in the videos and stuff. So those, the, you know, those fans have to go. Or I have to go into the fan control and, and take them right down to like half speed or something. I'll play with the, the fan control options and then see about, you know, if I can find a speed where they'll do the job but also be silent. But right now in default settings, just sitting idle, you might even be able to hear it over this microphone. It's quiet. Sure, but nowhere close to quiet enough for, for what I want. So either replace those fans or tool with those fans or doing something. Um, aftermarket cool of the CPU, um, you know, proper discrete GPU, uh, get some lights in there, either with the fans or separate lights and stuff, do a little more cable management, get the SSDs in there. There's a, still an upgrade path to go, but for right now, it is officially up and running. I can start... Uh, Updating Windows for a start to uh, get all the patches and crap because I'm not sure how old this install system is. It's Service Pack 1, I think, but yeah, there should be, oh Jesus, there's probably like three gigs worth of updates and patches and stuff because Windows is full of crap and, and, and insecure and stuff. And then I'll install, well, drivers first, then patches, then install all the software, then install a few games, get a few basic benchmarks done of the basic system, just so I have a... Uh, a point of comparison for when I do stick an aftermarket cooler on there, start overclocking the CPU, and of course get a dedicated GPU in there. I'd like to have a point of reference. So I'm going to do some basic benchmarking of just the system as it stands here with the integrated um, chip uh, graphics driver in the in the i5 and running at stock speeds and stock cooler and all that kind of stuff. Just so uh, just so I have a you know a benchmark, literally a benchmark, a place to start, a place to make comparisons to as I start. Kicking the kicking the guts out of the system and 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 making it into a proper gaming machine that'll uh, burn through games at, at bazillion frames a second and well I, actually I'm not going to worry about 4K and as long as I get up to at least to the 60 to 144 depending on what monitor I end up going with uh, in the end then then that's fine as well but that is it for this this episode this this segment no it is an episode um, next time we come back well. There probably won't be any more immediate segments for the build. I'll probably go back to... I've got some other stuff I've got to review, bits and pieces, and I'll do. But we will come back to the PC, uh, the Devil's Crevice project, very, very soon. I'll show you the basic benchmarks for a start once I get everything set up and running. Um, I may even be able to stream from this thing this weekend. Um, actually, I'm not sure when this video will be published. So, uh, that might be a bit of a silly thing to say, but I'm trying to open to get Minecraft up and running on it at least, which should run fine on the integrated GPU. May have to turn a few things off. Um, but yeah, we will come back with more of this project build as we upgrade and add parts and replace parts and, and get it up to, you know, quote unquote, finished level. The, the, the goalposts that I'm aiming for are still a little bit off, but for right now, it is a functional computer. It, it, it it's, it's, I'm, um, I'm quite happy actually. We had very few problems. Had a couple of little minor issues. You know, had that thing with the screws and then the, the drives and, and accidentally deleting this thing. I feel like a complete tool for doing that. What a stupid thing to do. Do 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 do. Clear the drive. Oh, hang on. That's my USB drive. Oh, goodbye Windows install. Um, huh. Moment of panic, but then I realized I had another one. But yeah, I'm trying to in this video. Really am. Just rambling at this point. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. I will catch you next time. Uh, and please, you know, drop the, the likes and the favorites and, and plenty of comments about how you thought the build went and 
any ideas or thoughts you have on the upgrade path because there are there's quite a few things i'm still undecided on which aftermarket cooler which fans shall i go for lighted fans or standard fans or light up the case in a different way or or you know even which gpu i haven't decided on the gpu card at this stage so you know amd or nvidia the uh, r9 uh, 390 or the uh, GTX uh, 970. Uh, I haven't decided because you know I haven't got the money yet, so there's no point making a decision before you get the money. When I'm going to you know click the buy button, that's that's when the decision finally gets made. But until then, you've still got some input to uh, to leave me in the in the in the comment section and stuff. But promise, well this is the end of the video. I'll stop talking now. Anytime soon. Still got three more beers in the fridge. Hooray! See you next time. Ah, right. Let's get you some drivers, boy, eh?